gaming smartphones, that is something new and you don't hear that a lot. That's probably because all flagship smartphones and even some mid-range devices can do gaming perfectly well. But today we have the Nubia Red Magic, which is a sub-30,000 smartphone aimed at gamers. The first thing that you're going to notice about this phone is its design. The company has tried to make the Red Magic into this stealthy looking gaming device. It's got a dark matte finish with red accents and the back is a bit unusual as it is raised in the middle where the RGB LED strip, the camera and the fingerprint reader are placed. That LED strip lights up when you get messages or when you're charging the device. Slide up the dedicated gaming boost button and it goes into an RGB mode ready for your gaming action. Now this is a powerful phone featuring a Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage at your disposal. While that is a 2 generation old processor, it is great for almost any type of game, be it Asphalt, PUBG, Fortnite and so on. The 3800mAh battery promises 4 hours of non-stop PUBG gameplay which seemed to be true as I did play a lot on this smartphone. As a general smartphone, the Red Magic didn't give me any issues. It comes with Android 8.1 with a clean interface and it isn't loaded with any unnecessary apps, which is excellent. Unlike the dual and triple cameras on smartphones today, this one has a basic 24 megapixel single camera at the back. Although it can shoot decent looking pictures, but don't expect any flagship quality from this camera. Now, the Red Magic does achieve its mission. It's a power packed smartphone that can help you game. But at the end of the day, it isn't necessarily better than other smartphones in its range. Especially since it's running on a 2 year old processor. The styling along with that RGB LED strip will definitely grab attention. But instead of offering any functionality, it is mostly for aesthetic value. So should you invest in the stealthy looking RGB lit gaming smartphone? Well, it does offer a lot of performance for your gaming needs. But the problem here is that almost any device in its range will offer a similar performance package. And there's nothing unique that calls this phone a gaming smartphone. Yes, there is an RGB light at the back, but that's just for show of value. Our suggestion is that you can invest in anything which is in the price bracket of 30,000, you should get a similar performance. But if you want something that is a gaming phone just for, you know, show off, you can probably invest in something like that. Mind you, this is running on a two generation old processor, that is something that you should keep in mind.